Hi, it's Jill again with Quick doing page two or layout number two of my Disney. Um, what I'm going to be using on this layout is two pieces of open cardstock from um, Michaels. It's just recollections open cardstock. I'm going to use one blue and one orange. And this is also open cardstock. Um, and this was also from. Michaels. I had had this before and it was really 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 thin and I didn't like it that well and they came out with the exact same print again but really thick cardstock and I absolutely love it. But anyway, enough about that piece of paper. Um, I didn't cut it in half. What I did is I cut four rows up of these figures and three rows up. They weren't even, so it's three and four. So um, I'm going to do these just kind of, well, and I wanted to add a little bit of a yellow to the background. And remember, guys, I just wing it. I just do whatever. So I never have a plan when I start laying these out. Um, the only reason I do my matting and pull some colors before I do it is because um, it kind of saves some time. I don't want my videos to get too ungodly long. So I do that and kind of have an idea and throw some stuff together. Let me make sure that this one, that pattern's cut crooked. And that pattern. And talk about being anal retentive. I'm going to go this way because that pattern is a little bit straighter for a guideline. Can be a little bit less noticeable. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go like total random. Ow, I ran out of hate when that happens. I think this one's almost out as well. I'll never make it through this video and I hope I have another gun loaded here. That didn't sound very good but boy they're all running out. I guess I'm gonna have to reload them. Okay I'm gonna put that one right there. No rhyme or reason. And let's see how I get along with this tape gun. And I'm going to put this one here. Again, no rhyme or reason. Don't have any clue what I'm doing. No clue. Okay, now I got a picture of Papa and Kendall, a picture of Daddy and Will, a picture of my son and my soon-to-be new daughter, and she's glowing. This was right after the proposal. Sounds like the, a movie. Have you seen the movie? The Proposal. I think I'm going to put this one here. Family shot, but missing some of us. And then here's a picture of me and my husband and Kendall walking down Main Street. I don't want to cover up the characters completely. I want a little bit of them showing. However, I'm going to be adding more. So, I am just going to start taping and see how it all comes together or doesn't. And as I pointed out numerous times um, on my scrapbooking, and I think this is something that I learned when I went to my very, very, very first scrapbook um, party, was that you were to cut out all the garbage that you didn't want in the photo so that it didn't distract you from your main focus. And so that's why all of my pictures are pretty random sizes. Um, because I 
trim them before I mat them. I trim up everything that I don't want to show and then I add my matte background. And this one I could have cut off a little bit more but my little Will was doing everything that he could to stay out of the picture over there. Little stinker. So I didn't want to cut him out. And oh every time I look at this I think we're going back again in November uh, of next year and I seem so far away it just goes so fast when you're there there's so much to see and so many places to go and it's just a whirlwind and I'm gonna grab I've got bags and bags of um, clip art or cutouts of my my favorite my Disney let me see what I have going on here that's Mickey I don't need to have another Mickey let's do a mini I'm going to grab a mini I don't know where I'm going to put all these I'm just randomly grabbing some and what do we got on the back of there is another mini I've got so many here how'd you like that so many that isn't who I was talking about though I'm going to grab a goofy and don't need to use them all because I've got a whole bunch of pages to do there's more Mickey's there's more let me see Here's some of my corner pieces. These are kind of cool. Let me see here. Let me see if I can do a Donald. I'm going to pop dot some of these. I don't know if you've seen me do my corner pieces. Of Ooh, there's a little tiny mini. Oh, so cute. But I've already got Minnie on there. What do I have here? Days and Downs. And what did I drop here? A heart. A heart. There's my daughter, daughter calling me. She's going to have to wait until I'm done before I call her back. And poo. I think that's going to be enough on this. I'm going to pop that. My Mickey. My Mickey Roo here. And can you hear her? She's just relentless. I'll call her back when I get a chance. I'm going to put Mickey down here. Did I get up all these down? Yes, I did. And I'm going to put Goofy right up here by my little Goofy Will with his goofy little face. And now I hear my husband's phone ringing. She's probably desperately looking for me. I'm sure she's got some something she has to tell me at this very second. So, ah, okay, there we go. I'm going to put Goofy right there, pop dotted. Oh, and we need to pop, <clears throat> pop dot Donald. Pop dot Donald. Oh, I can hear them. They were FaceTiming. That's what they were doing. My grandkids are FaceTiming me. I will FaceTime them back here in a minute. And let me stick Donald there. I'm liking that. I love all the colors with the Disney. And I'm going to put Minnie and Mickey on the same page. And... You know, normally I don't like to make my pages that busy, but Disney, to me, is busy. And it just wouldn't be Disney if my books weren't busy as well. So, I load them up. And then I'm going to put her over here. And... There we go, and 
get rid of all of these. And I'm going to put her right up there. And there we go. Now how simple is that? Guys, I'm telling you, anybody that says it's difficult to scrapbook, just go with it. Just do it. I'm going to get down here and show you the finished pages. And I'll kind of zoom in here. There I am with Papa and Kendall and the Magic Kingdom. And my son and his fiance, he proposed at Disney as a total surprise to her. Sweet and awesome it was. Okay, that's it for tonight. Bye-bye.